After driving through the night and checking out the epic sunrise, we finally arrived at our destination. We're about 15 minutes away from the uh, Pillars of Rome and we just came across the most epic sunrise ever. Right there, you see if you can get a good view of that. Turn your lane. Oh, this is gorgeous, babe. That, that is just epic. The local cafe was open, so we stopped in and had a bite to eat. Spoke to the locals and got some information on the road we needed to get to the Pillars of Rome. You're the bird. Uh -huh. Road runners. Huh? Or something. Can you hold this one? I will. Yeah. Oh, they are road, they're road runners. Huh? They're, little, I think, they're road runners. They got spikes on their head. Oh my god. I think they're road runners, aren't they? Wow. They do have orange hair. Uh, are you sure? I don't know. I can zoom They're in. still over there, but they're kind of in the bushes. I'm checking this dirt road out, and we think it's going to lead us to this place called the Pillars of Rome. We're gonna find out. As we made our way further up the gravel road, we passed a bunch of cows and some farms and made our way over an old spooky bridge. no road map that actually leads to the Pillars of Rome. It was just uh, go up the road a couple miles, turn left on the gravel road and take you down to the Pillars of Rome. But that just wasn't the case. Maybe there's no snake here. Oh yeah, maybe there is snake here. Lead us to the gold and the diamonds. <laughs> the only thing is, we don't want our muffler to catch us on fire. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. It's hot, it causes brush fires, so we want to be real safe. Mm. Hey, this might drop us over on top of, of a ridge. Really? You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. It's cool. Should we keep going or get out and walk it? Yeah, I know. Okay, let you... As the road split and turned, it offered us different directions. We had to navigate our way through and, much like a scavenger hunt, find the Pillars of Rome. just spotted a jackrabbit up off to the left. It sort of looked like a kangaroo. Check that road out. Looks like a cave way back in there too. You know that, well that first piece of quartz you found that looks like a bone? Mm -hmm. What if that's like, like a fossilized dinosaur bone? Yeah, right? Like, yeah, I need to know. Hmm. My seatbelt. There you go. Alright, what I do, I might get a 
get out and take a look at my, my muffler with yeah. the grass and see okay. how much plants I have. Okay. Just to make sure we're safe. Mm -hmm. No brush fires. Okay. It's close. We don't want to go any higher than what it is. Okay. Okay. I think we're okay though. Let's do this. If we do it quick, we should be okay, huh? Talk to you, yes. honey. Look at that. You're the driver. There we go. That way. I guess the muffler's not really hitting. We just, we just... Is the muffler hot? Yeah, it's real hot. So I don't want to be parked on top of this grass too long. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Because just to be safe, I, uh, I don't want any repercussion like that. Get rid of this. <laughs> Get rid of this spot. Okay, right here. Park right there. Yeah. Pretty epic, huh? Mm-hmm. Let's get some little in this grass. Oh, I'm scared. I think we're good? Yeah. All right. See a mountain goat here. This is gonna be epic. Yep. Yeah, we'll go up here and set up a camp. Alright, so I got this makeshift tarp here. We set up for shade and sit under. <laughs> we got this epic view. <laughs> you can see. Really nice view. Everything. Cool. Huh? Okay. Hold on.
So we just got back some rocks that we had found over there in the uh, little dried up stream bed and went through the, you can see the layers over there of the sediment and all sorts of uh, lava flow activity that happened. <laughs> Pretty cool. Super hot right now. Got a little bit of shade here. Time to hydrate.